much on my mind, I ain't even really sleeping lately I said some things I didn't mean, I know I did too much What's love if we can get into it, turn around and make up You kept it silent for me I got these roses for my birthday and they still holding up. I did the Q and A. We we're gonna do two on just statements. They was like, "Girl, you really pretty." And um, like really, I don't got nothing to say. You just very pretty, or whatever. So yeah, we're gonna skip over them two. So I think I already answered the one about why I didn't have a gender reveal party because basically, I, basically, basically I didn't have a gender reveal party because I already knew the set. So it just I was like, I didn't feel like, you know doing all this and doing all that and like gathering all these people or whatever for something that i already already knew like if i didn't know it would have been different what happened to etsy sweet treats um slash atl candy chop i'm still in business y'all i'm just taking a break right now but i got y'all okay coming real soon i got other business adventures so i'm just trying to get everything together to be honest who is your favorite cousin and why um <laughs> I got lots of cousins, and I love each and every one of them dearly, and the same. Um, but my favorite cousin is Kiana, period. That's my oldest cousin. Yeah. And she's my favorite cousin because, um, one, she's always checking on me. She loves to spend time with me. Don't get me wrong. All of them love to spend time with me. I bet if you ask any of them who their favorite cousin is, they got to say me. I, I promise you that. But, um, yeah, but Kiana, she always checking on me or whatever, chilling with me and talking. To me, especially like when I was going through the whole relationship, whole situation ship, because that's what me and my baby daddy was in. We was in a situation ship um, with baby daddy. He not caring about baby daddy, but then he was just like a, a person who I was dealing with. It was gonna, who is my number one supporter? My mom. Most definitely my mom. Mm, most definitely my mom. Give her all the credit. She's my number one supporter, period. It says, how do you feel about being pregnant? Um, I actually love being pregnant, to be honest. My baby is very good to me. I'm not with the father of my child or whatever. That's the question, too, or whatever. We're going to wait to, um, to discuss that or whatever. So, I don't know. You know, you be thinking, like, okay. Like, you know, I don't know. It's I'm five months now. And I've been doing things by myself. And I do things. He feels as if that he really don't have to do nothing until the baby gets here. So, that's his opinion. And, you know, everybody's entitled to their own opinion and their own feelings. And, you know. So, yeah. He just like a homie. What's up? Deuces. See you later. Period. That's how I look at him now. Like a um like a homeboy. Not even like a homeboy. I just see him like a, a regular boy. I'm the type of person like if I was to see a motherfucker out on the street, I probably wouldn't even say nothing to them. Lord forgive me. I probably would probably. I am going back vegan if I ain't say that. So I've learned so much going through this by myself, like going through my pregnancy or whatever. Like I've learned so I've literally learned so much about people, about myself, you know, about my body. Like I said, my baby is just so good to me. So, like, I never have, like, no problems or anything like that. So, I seen a post. I don't want to be crazy in love. Crazy in love anymore. I want to be calm in love. I want to be peace in love. Patient in love. Happy in love. Understand, understood in love. And I love that because it resonated with me. You have to pay attention to, like, the way a person treats you and the way they talk to you and even the way they spend time with you, even on good times and bad times. See, love can be there or whatever, but for me, I want somebody who's a good communicator with me or whatever because I know it was a question to, like, Israel, what are you looking for in your next do? I want somebody who's going to be a good communicator with me. I'm not perfect, but neither neither will it, neither one of us will be. I want somebody that's patient with me, that's understanding, that can communicate. You know, I want the trust, the loyalty and everything. Somebody who listens to me, who is affectionate. Who's loyal to me? You know, everybody got their own definition of all this stuff. So even just somebody to build and grow with or whatever. And I might got that going on. I might don't. Shh, I'm not telling nobody. Because I, I don't know. I don't know why I went wrong in my last relationship or situationship. I do know why I went wrong. But um, I just wish I would have did better. 
y'all be getting emotional about that because I be feeling like my child deserves better if that makes sense. And I'm not saying as in like the partner who I got my baby by, but I just feel like, I don't know, I should have been better. I should have just, so everybody got their own little language, like, word of affirmations, it's gift, it's um, physical touch, quality time, acts of service, and I think I said all five of them, but yeah. My love language would be, I like quality time, acts of service, quality time really like number one, quality time, acts of service, words of affirmation, I like physical touch too. I'm putting it in my order. Quality time, physical touch, words of affirmation, acts of service, then get looking for a guy. And I was like, how do you know if I'm looking for a guy, it could be a girl. I told y'all that. So yeah. Last little question I answer, because I really want to try to answer this one. I get asked this so much. I guess I might well say the honest truth. It's just the honest truth. So, the question is, why aren't, or like, why isn't, um, why I'm not with my baby daddy? Why we not together? Why I'm not? Um, the truth is, we were having problems. It is honest truth. I don't have to say that, or like, what the situation was, or what the problem was. It just wasn't enough communication. Enough trust, enough loyalty at the end of the day. So, um, yeah, so that's just that different, like, between me and my baby daddy. Because he's someone I've been knowing. I've been knowing since the sixth grade or whatever. I just remember, like, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, one with him or whatever this and the third. And, you know, and now it's just, like, we don't even really have to talk. Like, we can go days without even talking to each other. We're very different. So, um, you can think, like, oh, yeah, we really the same but maybe we are the same we too much of the same so it just don't you know yeah we just like two of the same different people maybe in the future or whatever we'll work things out um and it's it's crazy because to be honest some days is good some days is not so um i keep saying so um it's just that right there is just like i don't know and it was just a lot it's a lot of drama like even between his other baby mama or whatever it's just a lot like and i be needing the man like to put his foot down you know what i'm saying just like you know what i'm saying like this is what it is don't get me wrong because in the beginning he did that but now it's just like one minute is we cool one minute you know a motherfucker been on goddamn said something that he done told me and it's just like what i mean that i done told him it's like, and I don't get that, so. But we not together for various of reasons. We can say that. There's no bad blood or anything. Once upon a time, there was a moment where he was my best friend. It's honest truth. So no bad blood between us. We just not meant for like a couple or a relationship or anything such as that, of that nature or whatever. And it's crazy. Cause it's like, you know how you got that bond or whatever that you share with somebody, you know, isn't it special? And just like, I never had this bond with nobody else. But then you just like, when you look at it, like from a bigger point of view, it's just like, it's supposed to be something more meaningful, something more, you know, more special. We supposed to have like a bond, like whatever goes on between us is between us. So it's just a lot. And I don't want somebody that want to be with me and be with other people. Like, and I don't want nobody that's going to lie to me when I just be like, be honest to me. You know what I'm saying? You got to learn what you're going to accept and what you will self you know i put myself through anything like i'm i'm praying now and i'm not gonna let myself go or lower my standards or whatever just because you know i want love or somebody want this or whatever this if we're gonna say what i'd rather move on to find happiness or that's just what it is like i'm not trying to keep going in circles round and round the way you're doing me so wrong just keep holding you down, loving you in this way. And I'm not miserable or anything like that. I'm like, I don't feel even like from the get-go when all the drums was going on. I wasn't like, oh yeah, I need my baby daddy. Like, he and I inspired other hoes to move on up off their baby daddy because they was up on my ass and up on our relationship so much. And I'm like, even with him not putting his foot down, whatever, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Like, things had like unraveled like between me and my baby daddy. And it's like, you know how, like, you be like, okay, I'm going to trust this person again. I'm going to open makeup or whatever. And then he end up doing it again, then again, and then again. So, you know, stop trying to paint a, a picture like, or this, like, this has going to be, or this person going to change, or this person going to, it's not even saying this person going to change me, but it's like, what the motherfucker doing anyway, what the motherfucker doing anyway, it's just, it wasn't 
cool even like coming from anybody like doing stuff like that just wasn't cool so i'm my forgiving ass being forgiving and being loving like oh no you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day being loyal to somebody that's not loyal to you you might as well just you know what i'm saying move along it's not it's not good i can't be loyal to you and you ain't loyal to me even the time i used to just ask this man just like straight up i don't know if he thought i would flip i don't know but it's like i don't want to even want nobody with my set of like why would i tell you or anything like this like the fuck you mean like so <laughs> do you know how i look like look at me like it's not a filter or nothing i'm not letting a nigga put me through that shit and it's not even about you know how smart i am like it's just a lot like what for a nigga that wanted me first and care about having no dealings with or whatever, I always get mad at myself. Because like I be saying, I could have stayed to my fucking self. Like, I could have been baby free in my own world. Like, being with somebody that really loved me, if that makes sense. Like, and I mean, I know it makes sense. Like, but I could have been with somebody that really wanted me. I could have had it by a baby by somebody who wanted to marry me, who wants to marry me. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, and it's still camping, baby. Even though, you know, even though whatever, I'm not with the father of my child. I still can get married, and I really do mean that. Can find a man that love me. And I do be having people that, you know, but I want somebody that love me, you know what I'm saying? That want to be around me, spend time with me or whatever, accept me for who I am, even my, my attitude and all that, you know, because I'm not perfect, and nobody is, so, yeah, you know? God gonna send me somebody for me, for me. you know what I'm saying? That's gonna love my son equally, like they own. Don't get me wrong, I got people that want me now, but I'm just saying when they, they do, because like now, me and be getting jealous that my baby they got me pregnant. It's just a lot. And they just be like, and motherfuckers be like, how dumb can you be? You seen your baby mama, like, he like what he like. So, you know, period. And it's not like, okay, did I just then, I'm perfect and I ain't just, didn't make no mistakes. One thing about it, anything I did, I don't regret nothing. That's just that. I really mean that. How for your person, you think that person will forgive you the same way. Then in that I'm pregnant. So even if I do like bring up certain things, whatever, I'm pregnant. So it's like, like I said, I want somebody this for me. I want God to send me somebody this for me. So that's why I'm not with my baby daddy. <laughs> it's not for me. I love him as a friend. We talk sometimes, but it just be like, I don't know, we friends together, sex buddies, technically friends. I it's just I never know. I never know with him. I feel like we used to be cool. I always wanted my baby dad, even when it was like certain things or whatever, when we were together, I just always wanted to tell him everything. So, you know, and I, I learned certain things. I just should have kept myself like he didn't want to hear about it, whatever. But I don't know. I used to always want to tell him everything like he was my best friend. So, um. I'm just telling him that I made a YouTube video. Hey, you guys, because after this, I'm going to pack, um. For Miami, I think I'm gonna do a YouTube. Um, I mean, a shopping haul of basically like all the dresses I done bought. I need to do my baby hairs. I'm not good at doing baby hairs. And one thing about it, I'm gonna always be good. I think I answered y'all questions or whatever. I was thinking about getting my son a dog. Yeah, I'm a bully. at this baby. I'm a dog mom, and I was gonna get my baby a bully. Um, I need a mess. This is what everything I need for my car, y'all. Cause see, every month the insurance and everything in the car note is getting paid do y'all hit me literally the insurance and the car note is getting paid and the car been sitting there for like three four months so i need to get it fixed get the mask sitting the stuff y'all know any mechanics out there i used to talk to this mechanic or whatever he was cool he'll be probably upset now knowing that i'm pregnant who knows how he at now he already used to um i was too wild for him he didn't say that he said i was basically he didn't like that I was front of him. He wasn't like no street dude or anything like that or whatever. He was like, came from like a different surrounding than me. We seen life in two different ways. But he was cool, real cool. He used to love the way I smelled. I just like compliments. I feel like for a dude, I like it so hard to give me a compliment, he not for me. Like, it's not okay, everybody give you compliments every day, whatever. So I ain't gotta give you nothing like, damn. I swear to God, when a dude get y'all, whatever, like when he, he got you or whatever, and he know you ain't going nowhere. It's not even that knowing you're not going nowhere, but like me being honest, like I'm pregnant. So I can move on. I be just chilling, to be honest. But it don't, we ain't gonna get into that. My car, I need to fix the window or whatever. I think the man said he gonna charge me $250. Y'all spend about $100 on food every day. I need to do better in saving and stuff like that. So on my car, I need to get the window fixed. Um, I need a mass cylinder, a rotor, brakes, and brake pads. 
I want to do like a food video, but not like a mukbang, tasting something, a candy challenge, the belly casting. I'm going to do it. I love Lizzo, you guys. No, I like my friend though. He's very supportive. That's all I be asking. Hugs and I being a widow. Like saying, saying good things. Oh, my phone is dead. I enjoyed making this video for y'all. Need me a fruit bowl. I just wish I had somebody by my side. And I got my mom. My mom. I love my mom. But like I be telling her, like somebody that, you know, outside my family. Like way outside my family. Like the book. And it's not that people don't be trying. It's just. I'm waiting on that one person where I know this person is for me. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody can make that shit look good. If, I swear, if you're talking to somebody, you should just give it months. Even if you give it years, give it months. Like, I don't even think y'all understand how long it took my baby dad to get at me. You know what I'm saying? Like, not even get at me, but to get me. Literally. <sighs> years. And he did his, you know, he did his thing. My baby, they watch me. Oh, shit, I do. I make sweet, sweet little tea. He know that anytime. And vice versa. He just don't like my attitude and stuff like that. But I don't have no problem with my baby. Dad. It's not the hill, man. We just, you know, people, you know, we separate. That's life. But I had a wonderful time making this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, you guys. <laughs> What's up, you guys? Your girl is right here. I'm back with another video. Got him. And yeah, got me some fruit snacks. These are genuine.